Another day, another brawl. While Ukraine's parliament deliberated over controversial language law, deputies used their fists to let their feelings be known. One of the central figures in another recent scandal, Party of Regions deputy Vadim Kolesnichenko, says he was attacked by opposition politicians while trying to address lawmakers. I had to finish my speech in order to start the voting. Five to six people attacked me. I'm a former weightlifter and could provide a strong physical reply, but I didn't want to because then everyone would have said I was a thug. But it was hard to restrain myself, especially after a bottle was thrown at me. After these events, I received threats and had to move my family. Heated debates have often ignited into all-out rage inside the Rada. Two years ago, when Parliament was due to ratify agreements with Moscow on the extended lease of Russia's Black Sea naval base, smoke bombs went off and the Rada speaker had to hide under an umbrella from a rain of rotten eggs thrown at him. It may look like chaos and anarchy, but for some in Ukraine's political circles, it is in fact democracy in action. You would never see fights in the Soviet parliament. You'll never see fights in North Korean political structures. A brawl as a last resort of delivering your point when vocal methods don't work can only happen in a democratic state. It's not effective, but still, it's democratic. Former deputy, now political analyst Dmitry Vidrin, tends to disagree. He says deputies are weak and cannot bring anything to a logical conclusion. Neither the lawmaking process nor the fights. That is why he published a guide on how they should brawl. A deputy's table is an endless source of improvisation. I've counted at least 18 things at every table which could be used in a fist fight, like the microphone or the hook, which is used to hang one's bag. If they maimed and seriously injured each other, maybe this would have paved way for a new breed of politicians able to actually work effectively. Over the years, fights in the Rada have been attracting impressive audiences. They are usually televised live on a parliamentary channel. And the all-favorite TV show will certainly hit the screens nationwide again. For almost two years it had been relatively calm politically in this country and Ukrainians had been deprived of televised fistfights within the parliament. But now with the parliamentary election looming this fall, deputies are expected to intensify their fight for the right to work inside this building. Alexei Roshevsky, RT, reporting from Kiev in Ukraine.